beautiful people. Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Notaro 1122. This is going to be a message for Leo for the first week of June. So check the vibe to see what's going on out there for us. Um, get some messages from Spirit. And uh, yeah, this will possibly not be a quick reading. So yeah, I'm using a lot of decks here. So if you're interested, have a seat, get a drink. You'll be here for a while, alright? So uh, yeah, let's... Um, Get into the reading. Hopefully, um, you guys will enjoy it. Got what deck of cards I was looking for. All right, let's see. What messages for Leo for the first week of June? What does Leo have coming up for the first week of June? Yeah, patience. Okay. Temptation. Oh, I'm really tempted. <laughs> Let's see what else. And I'm thinking this is a temptation from something in the past. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. All right, you have balance, fulfillment of wishes, and fertility. All right, I like it. I like it. Even with the little temptation there, I like it. <laughs> okay. I'm a little daredevil sometimes, but let's see. All right, so yeah, the source is telling you to have patience. There's something coming for you, for you, or either you're working on something and you're watching it grow. Spirit is telling you, just be patient. It's going to work out for you, okay? There is some type of temptation coming for you. I don't know what it is. I'm really curious. I want to know. My inquiring mind wants to know. All right, so there is some type of temptation coming towards you, Um this may be something that may try to pull you back, hold you back from your destiny when you're really trying to move forward. So when it comes to this temptation, please use your intuition when it comes to this, okay? You have balance. So things are going to be coming to full circle for you right now. If things are kind of out of whack, up and down, you know, you're not sure what's going on. Spirit wants you to know that things are going to be balancing out for you. You do have everything that you need to make this work. This is basically the um, the magician, okay? So you're able to manifest things, all right? And then you have fulfillment of wishes, whatever you've been working on. Um, you will see it come to fruition. Also, I do believe there's going to possibly be a lot of blessings coming for you soon, okay? In June, you're going to see a lot of things coming for you, okay? So things that are going to make you emotionally happy as well, okay? So yeah, that's going to be good. You have fertility. Some of you guys might be having babies, getting pregnant or something like that. Some of you guys may be birthing new ideas or something like that. Some of you guys may be, you know, just coming full circle. Yeah, you your family is good. Your money is good. Your spirituality is on point, you know, emotionally stable. So, yeah, pretty much this is the empress right here. Okay, so you're birthing new ideas. Things are looking good. And I like it. Okay, because the universe is on your side, too. So the universe is working with you. You're going to get some truth and clarity about the situation that's going on. And also, this is your destiny. So you're going to be moving towards your de destiny in accelerated motion. I like it. All right. I can't wait. Looking forward to it. All right. Let's see. What messages do we have for Leo? All right, you have toil and labor, so whatever you're doing, you're working hard at it, keep it up. Your patience is going to pay off, okay? Your hard work is going to pay off. You have mature woman here, okay? Some of you guys are gaining wisdom and clarity about this situation. You have spiritual growth going on here. There may be an older person that may help you with the situation or whatever. And also, what I'm getting is that some of you guys may have a spirit guide that is with you that is actually someone, an ancestor, possibly a grandmother or something like that that is with you. Okay, I like it. All right, let's see. All right, and then you have poverty, okay? So this may be a concern right here. Source wants you to know that you may experience a little setback as far as your finances is concerned. However, things are going to balance out. Don't be too concerned about it, okay? 
no matter what it looks like, just know that Source is going to come in and give you everything that you need to balance this situation out. All right, let me get one more, please. Adjudication. Okay, so there may be some type of court case or something like this that may actually... Um, help you out financially. Also, there may be some type of judgment call that you're going to make here that ends up um, um, thrusting you forward to exactly what you want, your life's dreams, your fulfillment of wishes, okay? So, yeah, just um, be patient about the situation. Something tells me that you guys are going to get some type of, some of you may end up getting some type of judgment or something like that, that where you get some money that's actually going to set you up to where, you know, you're pretty, you're looking pretty good. On the bottom of the deck, you have the lovers here. So you also may have new love coming in too. Let me get one more. Child. Okay, so this could be involving some children, your family. This could also be involving um, some things that you need to work on as far as like your, um, like any type of, childhood trauma or something like that maybe you need to work on that but what I'm getting is that this hmm, this could have something to do with children however me personally I think this is actually like tapping into your inner child that happiness that glow that you have that um that inner childlike joy you're going to be able to find that again on the bottom of the deck you have sudden wealth so like i said you have some money coming through possibly through a court case or something like that um maybe it's the fact that the, the divine says you know what i've seen all this hard work that you've been putting in let me go ahead and give you a boost and, and give you this lump sum real quick just to show you that, you know, you're on the right track, okay? This could also be a judgment call, something that you're planning on doing, something that you put in motion that is actually going to pay off, okay? So let's see. You have your dreams need a, a practical plan, okay? So if this is actually something that you're working on, make sure that you go over everything with a fine-tooth comb to make sure that things are going to work out for you. If there's any hiccups in the way, anything questionable, ask Source to help reveal it for you, okay? Let's see. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Like I said, some of you guys may be going through some... Um, you know, working hard, trying to figure out um, a solution to this poverty that's going on here. You got a blessing coming, so don't worry about it. A solution is coming to this uh, to this uh, problem right here. So the end of a tough cycle approaches new moon in Capricorn. So you're about to get some unexpected blessings here. You may not see it, but it's coming. Nothing is yet set in stone. Um, as far as your money is concerned, don't be anxious, okay? There's something that you're concerned about here. Possibly regarding this money, this poverty set mindset. Don't worry about it. Things can change before you know, okay? When you least expect it, you're going to get some information coming in regarding this situation that's going to balance you out, okay? Just be patient. Be patient. Use wisdom in this situation with this mature woman here as well. All right. Look at the bigger picture. Okay, everything is happening for a reason. Things are being moved around in your life for a reason. People are being removed. Other people, they're being replaced by other people. Things are happening for a reason, okay? Just keep that in mind. Source has you. The universe is working with you. They have control. Let go and let God do it, okay? Your source, whoever you believe in. Let's see. The God within you, whoever. The leader of your life. Messages for Leo. On the first week of June. Messages for Leo. Hey, you got the four of wands. I like it. Okay. 
Four of Wands, there's some happiness, celebration coming in, sweetheart. There may be some type of relationship, commitment coming to you, okay? All right, that's what I'm saying. Mm, I like it. At one point in time, I did see the lovers on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, there's going to be some forward movement here. You will be celebrating. I do believe this is going to be you and your family. However, there may be a commitment coming here soon, okay? Hmm. Source is also telling you to tap more into your intuition. Commune more with Source as well. All right, so let's see. What else for the, uh, for the first week of June? What do they need to know? All right, so you have the fool in reverse. So some of you guys might not be willing to take that leap of faith in a new direction, okay? You might be a bit stagnant. Source is telling you, look at the situation for what it is. Look at the big picture. Move. Don't stay stagnant, okay? If you do move, have a plan. Don't just like, okay, whatever, you know? Make sure that you have a plan, like it says, you need a what is what does it say? Your dreams need a practical plan. So don't just go off willy nilly. You know, look at the situation for what it is. Look at the big picture, the outcome, the possible outcome of this. Okay, what else? What else? Okay, so right now you might be waiting on some type of communication as well. You have the eight of wands in reverse. Okay. So there's no communication right now. So I think that kind of has you a little uh, kind of iffy. You know, things aren't moving. You're not seeing it in, 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 the, in the 3D. But behind the scenes in the 5D, things are working out for you. You have somebody that wants to come in and collaborate with you, okay? Work with you. Right about now, you kind of like up in your head about this situation. Do I really want to go towards this new beginning? have this person work with me you know what i'm saying right now i'm feeling kind of stagnant i'm not sure if i should take this leap oh my 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 oh yes this is about money and a relationship somebody is coming towards you or somebody may approach you regarding a relationship you may be undecided if you want to move forward there may be some conflict here, some internal conflict as well. You might be, oh shit, you might be a little overwhelmed over some information that you've heard or something that you've experienced in the past. See what I'm saying? Somebody's all up in your ear, you're all up in your head trying to figure out what to do. You might be in internal conflict when it comes to starting this passionate new beginning, collaborating with this person. Like I said, you do have somebody coming in, okay, that wants a commitment, you know, somebody that wants to work with this, but I don't know. Somebody is watching. Let's see. You may be trying to figure out, get more information about this situation. Somebody's being strategic, trying to come in. I don't know. This person's got a knife, so you might think they're kind of deceptive. Maybe that's why you're not moving. Give me more. On this situation death and rebirth okay so I'm thinking that this is possibly somebody from your past that you might have had some conflict with or whatever you know you've gotten some downloads some spirit or heard some things about this person learned some things about this person decided to let them go and now this person is coming back being strategic about coming back okay hopefully they're coming back with not being deceptive. This person is coming back saying they want the Ten of Cups with you. Let's see. What else? Alright, and remember it is retrograde, so mostly everybody is going to have um, exes coming back. People from their past and things like this. Yeah, see, look. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yes. Alright, you have the Three of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. Um... There was some hurt here in the past. Somebody got their heart broken. Yeah, possibly behind somebody that, that was very much in their ego. 
They like to be seen, like to be praised, like a lot of attention from a lot of people. You see this person is standing in front of the podium. There's people cheering and things like that. All eyes on me. This person probably broke your heart in the past and left you in this Nine of Swords situation here. So somebody is overwhelmed about this situation. That's why there's confusion if you want to take this person back. Hmm. Okay, so what is the good stuff here? We started off good. Okay, I'll take that. All right, so you got the Page of Wands. You're moving forward towards your passionate beginnings. Eight of Pentacles, you're working on yourself. You're manifesting things. All right, so you're healing, looking good, manifesting things, probably getting your pinnacles in order. You know, you got your stage over there in the corner. You got your spiritual work going on. You, your blessing feathers. You got your candles and stuff going on over there. So you, you, you're manifesting some things in your life, doing the work, putting in the work. This toil and labor, you're doing what you're supposed to do. You're being patient with yourself, too. Healing during this situation. All right, so what else? Give me one more. You got the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, so this is somebody from your past that you feel that is not loyal. Yeah. You feel... This hoe ain't loyal. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whoever this is, you're not trusting this person. You, you try not to, to look at this situation, but Source is telling you look at the bigger picture. Maybe this person had to leave to go learn some karmic lessons or something like that. I don't know. Let's see. Where is my other deck? The one that I wanted. What do I want here? I got so many damn cards here and I'm missing, missing a deck. All right. So let's see. All right. What else? What else is coming from Leo? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the situation? All right, King of Cups. So somebody's coming in with some love. That's this Four of Four of Wands, the Hierophant, and the King of Cups. So somebody wants to come in and make this offer. This water is a little bit turbulent. So wait a minute, and there's a fish here. Yeah, there's a fish here. Some of this could possibly end up in a pregnancy too. Okay, somebody is coming in and telling you that they love you. They do have emotions for you. Okay. Um, yeah, this, they, they have emotions for you. Let's see. What else? Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Though, why? <laughs> why? This is not a stable offer. Why? Why are you coming in, though, if that's the case? If it's not stable, where you come down and turn this right side up because I just turned it around. Yeah, the Four of Wands. Uh, this is crazy. This is really crazy. Okay, somebody is coming in wanting to rekindle this relationship. After it was not moving forward, then somebody else moves forward towards their passion in the beginning. Now this person is coming back. Wanting this four of wands. I mean, we just strolling up like we ain't never been gone, you know. We coming happy with the umbrella, about ready to sit in the sun and everything. You know what I'm saying? We chilling. We trying to come back. Hey, check this out. I know things didn't go like it was supposed to, but can we try this again, you know? I've learned some things, been through some things, seen some things, experienced some things, and now I need to, you know, can I come home? Or I won't say home, but you know what I'm saying? Can we try this again? Look, you got the three of pentacles here. I don't know. This person wants to work together, but this also clarifies this six of wands, the knight of swords, the death and rebirth, the seven of swords. Okay, so um, there's possibility that there is somebody else involved in this situation. There's a possibility that this person, like I said, likes the attention of a lot of people. So this person, there's somebody else involved. There's possibly a third party here. Or was. Let's see. Yeah, somebody was juggling here. 
Two of Pentacles. Somebody was juggling. Give me information on the Page of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. I don't want to know about this past person. Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away. So whoever this Page of Wands is with this Eight of Pentacles, somebody said, you know what, it's better for me to walk away and work on myself. And this is what this person did. Wish fulfillment. They're working towards their wish fulfillment. Why is the Six of Cups in reverse? So pretty much that's a good thing. Knight of, no, Page of Wands. Wow. Okay, so this person is just about passion, sex. So this person is, isn't loyal or wasn't loyal at that time when they first came in. Matter of fact, wow, this landed on the child card. So this person might have been a bit immature, emotionally immature. Hmm. There could be children here, but I'm getting that this person was emotionally immature. They had no plans on being loyal. This person was in it just for sex, the page. Whatever, you know, gets them off. Like, literally. Why is the Three of Swords here? The Chariot. The Seven of Swords. Okay, somebody's moving away from this deceptive ass person. Three of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Swords and also the Chariot. Moving away from this deceptive person, this heartbreak. Yeah. And you have the King of Wands here. So there's somebody else here that's interested in you. So. Whew. Okay. So we're moving away from deception, lies, envy, third party situations. Working. And moving on, let me see something. I'm just curious, 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 curious. Somebody's tempted to take this person back, I think. Or to give this a second chance. I think that's what that temptation is about. Yep, look. <laughs> what did I say? Somebody is tempted. I wanted to clarify this temptation. What is this temptation about? It's about the second chance with this lovers. This two of cups. Yeah, somebody's trying to figure out should they go back or not. Wow, let's see. Why is temptation here? Yeah, the eight of swords in reverse. So now it's thinking about opening up communication, no longer wanting to be stuck after being in hermit mode, thinking about this situation. Do we want to rekindle this situation? What is it? Give me more about temptation. Yep, two of pentacles, a star. So I, what did I say? Oh my God, I love tarot. Love tarot. Look, somebody's undecided if they want to come back to this situation. Somebody is looking at this person from the past as their wish fulfillment. Look, I'm just saying. So that's the, the temptation here. So Leo, either you're tempted to take this person back because you have mad love for this person, very passionate about this person. You can see a future with this past person, okay? You have history with this person. So um, there may be some type of temptation to take them back. Somebody thought about this long and hard, probably cut off communication here as well. Um, basically keeping them to themselves, you know, kind of stuck. What do I do? What do I do? I love this person. I care about this person. But they had all of this trash going on. What do I do? Somebody realized, like I said, this person from the past is their wish fulfillment. Their wish fulfillment. They probably haven't said anything, you know, but somebody really loves this person. I don't know. So there's temptation. There's temptation. <laughs> Yeah, there's temptation to move forward towards this person, but there's conflict here. There's conflict. This person may feel a little bit guarded, you know, like they have to protect themselves for this, from this person because they know all they want is sex. But somebody has a lot of love here and has a lot of, of um, 
emotions, feelings. This, this person is, you know, you do it for me, so I'm, I'm cool. But there's this deceptive energy here. What else? Yeah, somebody is wounded here over this situation. There's a lot of conflict. There was a burden. Somebody wants to drop the burden here. Yeah, somebody wants to drop the burden. Yeah. Somebody wants to drop the burden. They feel like, you know, they can really, you know, they're probably financially stable, but emotionally they're kind of feeling a bit off because they kind of miss this person. They want a brand new beginning. Yeah, somebody wants a brand new beginning. Either Leo, you want a brand new beginning with this person or this person wants a brand new beginning with you. Ooh, as karma might have it, this might be a missed opportunity, though. But somebody somebody really wants a stable offer here. Somebody wants a stable offer, wants to come in and offer, you know, something real. All right, so Leo, that could be you or this could be this past person. But there is some type of temptation here. And it is because of this past person. Somebody wants a brand new beginning. Let's see. Messages from Leo. All right. So we have Sage. Be devoted and committed. Okay, so this could be to the person that is trying to come back to Leo. Um, well, Leo, if this was you, you know, that is trying to come back to this person. The thing is, is that if you come in, you got to be devoted and committed to this relationship, you know, and also be committed to yourself. You know, truth is, is what's what's real. OK, so um, whew, I'm going to say this in two different aspects. Whoever this is, the person that this person is coming back to. Your devotion is to yourself. Keep yourself first, because this person has come in with some bullshit before they may come in again just wanting, you know, this sex, you know, this commitment. I mean, not this commitment, but this connection, this sexual connection with you. Not being loyal, just coming in and out when they want to, you know, juggling you with other people. So you really have to use your discernment and put yourself first. You know, is this something that I really want to deal with? Um, or do I, would I rather just work on my own and be committed and devoted to myself, my self-care, my life, you know what I mean? And also, when it comes to this person, you know, if you come back towards them and they let you back in, and this is a good-hearted person, you know, um, do it right this time. Be devoted and committed to the mission, you know. If not, then leave this person alone. You have a star ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul. So... Um, Leo, your ancestors are talking to you regarding this situation, all situations really. Tap into that and, um, you know, use that as your guide. Pray about it, meditate about it, ask for guidance, you know. You do have ancestors that are, that are with you. All right, then you have transformation. Change, discomfort, limitations, growth. So there may be some type of change in this situation. Who knows? Maybe it might be come back to full circle and evolve again into a relationship maybe you're transforming your life into something else and moving on you know manifesting new things in your life new love let's see what else this is crazy i should have just named this retrograde readings all right change Flex flexibility courage evolution growth so there is going to be some changes here this possibility that maybe this situation is over maybe this person is has learned some things maybe they realize that they really have um feelings for you and maybe this person is willing to transform their life into someone that's really devoted and and that can actually be committed who knows maybe this person wants to actually grow with you now all right, dreams, restoration, downloads, rest. So you're probably getting downloads from spirit, you know, in your dreams and things like that. You know, talking to you, showing you what you need to do. All right, so pay attention to them. Let's see, what else? You have, oh wow, okay. The word wants to be written. So, um, yeah, this is the story of your life and you are the one with the pen. So, you're the creator of your destiny. So, yeah. What is it that you want your 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 uh, your story to say? I don't know. 
Hmm. You're actually getting a lot of spiritual downloads right about now, too. So, really pay attention to them. Trust yourself in this situation, okay? Trust that you're doing the best thing that's for you. I mean, you know, you can consider this person's feelings as well, as long as they're coming in correct. If you feel that this person is coming in to um, deceive you once again, you know, trust your intuition. You already know. And then on the bottom of the deck, it says, come to life, okay? So there may be a situation that kind of knocked you off balance, may have taken that passion away from you for a minute, you, that hermit mode. You probably had to shut a lot of things off, but now that renewed sense of self is coming back. And uh, yeah, you're ready to actually start over and paint yourself a new picture, okay? Renewed, restored, and actually better than ever. Let's see. What else? What other messages? All right, we got to get these ex people out of our energy. If they're not coming back to do right and to stay, we need to, like, get them out of the energy so that they don't show up in our readings anymore. Yeah. Although I do miss my past person. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah. All right, so you have revolution. Right about now, um... Hmm. You're in a spiritual battle from what I see, okay? Um, not only a spiritual battle, you're, you're in an um, internal battle as well. You're, you have wisdom, which I love how they put the owl on the end of her nose, you know? I love that. You see that? They put the owl on the end of her nose. So you have, your intuition is on point, you know? The thing is, is that you're in a spiritual battle. And you're actually in a spiritual battle versus dark and light, not with anyone else, but within yourself, okay? So I think what it is is that Source has actually called you for a mission, and there's a bit of resistance, you know, because a lot of times this calls for you to be alone by yourself. This spiritual journey, you can't take everybody with you. They don't understand your mission. So the fight is, do I keep going? Or do I give in to that temptation, you know, not only for this past person, but also temptations to things that I used to do, you know, things that are keep me off track or take me on a different path than I need to be, you know. So, yeah, you're actually in a spiritual revolution right here, okay? Also with this revolution, um, expect for things to come full circle for you. All right, if there was um, heartache, hardship, um, any type of deception or anything that you went through in the past that was unjust, just know that it's going to come full circle. Karma is going to come back around. That person is going to get a taste of karma. And also the blessings and, and lessons that you need will also come, come to you too. Take authority of your own life. Take control of things that you need to do for yourself. Put self first when it comes to like bringing in other people that really don't give a damn about you. It's okay to exhibit self-care, you know. It is okay. All right, discrimination. Mm. Don't discriminate. Don't discriminate. That's 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 not cool, okay? My thing is, is that if this past person comes into your life or whatever, be fair. You know, don't um, don't just be, it's about me, mine, I, oh, you hurt me, you did this, you, 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 you. No, be responsible and take, take your, um, you know, how can I say this? Own up to your shit. I'm just saying, it, it takes two. This person may have done something to you and you reacted instead of responding, okay? So basically you're reacting off of their behavior. So now two wrongs don't make a right, okay? So like I said, don't discriminate on this person. Be, you know, be fair. Um, yeah, own up to your ish, you know? It takes two, you know? It, it takes two. All right, so let's see. And then you have magnetism, okay? So you're going to be attracting all kind of things, people, money, situations, all kind of things. You know, you're in manifest mode right now. So, you know, just be careful of the things and people that you manifest, okay? 
So yeah, um, especially when it comes to manifesting people into your life, okay? Be careful with that. Be careful of who you ask for. Trust me, be careful who you ask for. All right, make sure that you know that person um, fully before you go asking for people, okay? Because people may seem one way and then when they manifest in your life, you found out that, oh, hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that was going on. So, yeah. Okay, so be careful. Then you have determination. Don't give up on your goals. Keep going no matter how hard it is. You know what I mean? The salmon, they actually have a hard-ass life, you know? <laughs> Struggling upstream and then the mate and then just, ugh, you know, it's over with. My thing is, is this. Your journey is not over until Source says so, okay? So don't give up on yourself and don't give up on your dreams. You do have wish fulfillment. It's going to take a lot of hard work and toil and everything like that, but it's going to come to fruition. It's coming to fruition. The biggest question is, is this person from your past a part of that wish fulfillment? I don't know. Let's see. You have inspiration and creativity. Let the things around you and the things that you go through be your inspiration to keep moving forward, okay? Tap into your creativity. That abundance, that that gift that you were given is actually going to be your money maker, okay? So whatever um, gift source uh, gave you, use that to its fullest as um, the divine to actually guide you and uh, for you to use it for the purpose that they gave it to you for, okay? Let's see. What else? All right, you have life restored. I think this is a scarab. Really wish it wasn't a bug. I don't like bugs, but yeah, I like these cards. They're really cool. So yeah, you have life restored. Spiritual resurrection is gifted to you now. Whatever part of you or your life you thought to be dead is being revived and will flourish back into life. Oh, I love this. Okay. Just as the phoenix rises from the fire, transitioning from death into life, so you too will rise again, healed and renewed. I like it. So whatever you went through in the past will not stop you, okay? You have a divine purpose. Like I said, Source is going to make sure that you have everything that you need to do the job that they sent you here to do. The thing is, is that you have to be tenacious. Keep going. Don't stop. Another thing is, is this past person a part of that journey? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they had to go out and, and learn some lessons, some karmic lessons before they come back. I don't know. They miss you. Reach out. Oh, Leo. They miss you. Oh. Oh, they miss you too. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Then we have, you are being protected by your angels. Don't worry. Like I said, you know, Source has you. God's got you. Don't trip. This is all a divine plan, okay? There are obstacles ahead. You'll get through this, okay? Yes, you will. You have divine guidance going with you. Let's see. Keep working. Keep working. Just keep working. Just keep working. All right. Spirit is ready to offer you guidance. All that requires is an open mind and a request for assist, assistance. So if you're not seeing your way clearly through the situation, please open your mouth and ask, okay? They put you in this situation for a reason. For one, because you have a destiny. There's lessons to be learned, karmic lessons that you need to learn. Also, this person here um, has possibly needed to do some spiritual growth or some spiritual awareness or whatever. Whatever this connection is was a learning experience for both of you guys. Now, if it comes back, that's that's up to you and Source. I don't know. Okay, but yeah, it seems like that um, you may be missing this person too. I know I'm missing one person, but you know, shit happens. So, um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh my God, I got CRS back. I can't remember shit. Okay, but anywho, all right, so Spirit is working with you on this situation, okay? So things are going to work out perfectly for you, babe. You do have sudden wealth here, so there's going to be some unexpected money coming for you, which is really good, okay? 
You do have new love coming down the line somewhere, but I think you need to kind of figure out what's going on with this past person, okay? To figure out, um, yeah, do you kind of fix it or what do you do with it? Like I said, I see this person coming in as a page of wands. I don't see um, love coming in from this person. I don't know. You know, only you know your person. Maybe this is somebody that you have friends with benefits with or something like that or whatever. However, the cards are saying they miss you. Reach out. Maybe, Leo, maybe this might be you missing your person. You know, I don't know. Take it how it resonates. This could actually be a cross watcher. You know, talking to Leo, talking to you. I don't know. All I know is it looks pretty damn good. You're going to go through some stuff. But, yeah, eventually the truth will come out. Um... You will get clarity about this situation and why you went through it. Just be patient and know the source is actually working with you behind the scenes in the, in the 5D. Okay, and uh, yeah, your person may be actually coming back to you. So you need to figure out what you want to do. Is this going to be a missed opportunity or... You know, are you moving on or whatever? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This is, this is like confusing here. It's like a lot of information and just, yeah. So, but anywho, this is what we have coming up um, next week. So, let's see how this goes. Fashion your seatbelt because it's getting ready to get real. All right, my loves. You guys take care. Bye.